Zachary. Welcome to Burn Downs Country Kitchen. Uh, I just want to take a quick minute and welcome all the new subscribers. Uh, appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, welcome to the Burn Down Country Kitchen family. Uh, with that said, today we are going to do a beer can duck. Yep, we're going to shove a really big beer can up a very small duck's shiny hiney. So that ought to be interesting. Good TV if nothing else, right? All right, so uh, let's get after the ingredients. Okay, so we are also gonna do smashed potatoes. That's what these are for. Um, of course, we got our duck. We got our beer can. We're gonna make that real uncomfortable here pretty soon. And then we just got a bunch of seasonings. Um, you do you when it comes to seasoning. It's always just a guideline for me. Um, everybody has a different taste. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about my uh, chili, <laughs> which is kind of funny because best chili on the planet is subject to taste. I believe it is the best chili on the planet. I love it to, to death. Uh, in fact, I just got a comment um, from a guy that's made it twice and it came out great both times. And he's even added something to it the second time and really enjoyed that. So, uh, and it's always a guideline. Yes, it's subject to everybody's taste. Um, but you do you, you know, if, if you don't want salt or pepper in it, don't put salt or pepper in it. If you don't want paprika, don't use paprika. Use, use what you want and y'all do you. Me, I'm going to go ahead and do some salt and pepper. I have some onion powder, some garlic powder, some smoked paprika, and some poultry seasoning. Um, we'll just throw a bunch in a bowl, mix it up, and get filthy with this duck. How about that? All right, let's do it. We're just gonna go, go ahead and dump all of this in here. Just mix it all together. This is gonna be our rub. Just like that. Go ahead and get our salt pinches in there. Mm, I love the smell of that poultry seasoning. Give it a good stir. And if you need more, get more. Make some more in there. Like I'm probably gonna have to add some more, but we'll see. Okay, so I went ahead and doubled it real quick. I want to make sure I have enough before I start getting my hands all on that meat. All right, that's ready to go. Yeah, it just looks looks like it's better. All right, now we got the star of the party here, and uh, we're gonna give her a good rub down. I don't know if I, uh, I got plenty. I should have plenty here. Good. You want to even get it all up in them armpits. Everywhere. I want this nice and flavorful. And I'm going to leak. My blood coming out. Nice. Put it up in there. Flip her over. Get the other side. Nice and seasoned. Yeah, I'm glad I doubled the seasoning. Or I would have had to stop halfway through and make more. Nobody wants to do that. Man. 
I've actually never had duck, let alone cooked it, so this will be a fun experience for everybody. So, I love it because a lot of things I do on this show, I do for the first time. Because like I said, I'm no chef. This is for entertainment value only, but I do cook decent and you're going to get some good recipes out of it, so... Flip it over again, just to yeah. make sure I'm getting the outsides of these legs. And of course, if we ain't making a mess, you know we ain't cooking right. That's how we get down. All right, looking good. Let's get our. Mess cleaned up and we'll get a pan together. Now we got this big old beer can and uh, we're not gonna wanna use it all. So we're gonna take you know, close to half of it out. Just gonna get you a mug. Enjoy yourself half a beer. A little more, yeah, a little more. That'll do. That'll do. And of course, if you're over 21, cheers. Mmm. Nice. Alright, let's do this. just in case. All right, so we're gonna open up the cavity here. Slide it right on in, just like that. Nice. I was gonna kick these legs up, but I may not have to. It's on there pretty good, nice and sturdy. You think? Look at that. Yeah. Take some of this extra rub we got here since it's already there and messy. You know, if you see a spot, go ahead and rub it on there. Okay, so now we got this uh, oven set. You can do it at 350, 375. I got it at 375. Uh, I do have a thermometer that we're going to go ahead and shove deep down in the breast. Because we're going to want a good, accurate reading on that one. All right, I'm going to get this in the oven. Get these taters ready. Just going to poke some holes in them. Help the middles cook a little quicker. Just usually poke them on all four sides. Wrap them up. We're gonna shove these in the oven for about an hour. And then we'll get our next step on with them. Uh, make sure you clean your potatoes off. They will be dirty if you don't. It will taste like dirt. Sure, y'all know that already, but in case you're a five-year-old trying to make taters, <laughs> wait for your parents. That'd be my advice. All right, just like that. What gets me shoved in the oven? We got half a cup of sugar. Oh. Uh, Four tablespoons of cornstarch, four tablespoons of white vinegar, three quarter cup of water, some red dye, and a half a teaspoon of soy sauce. And we'll just do a pinch or so of some salt. So we're gonna go ahead and throw in the sugar first. in the cornstarch. We 
We're just gonna whisk that together. Get it mixed in, all the clumps out. Just like so. Next, we're going to throw in the, the water. The soy sauce. Y'all might hear Mrs. Burnt down in the background. Uh, our Niners are playing the Washington Commanders right now. Uh, and we got our vinegar going in there. Oh, we're going to do a pinch of salt as well. And we're gonna turn it on to a medium high and we're gonna bring it to a boil. Let's go ahead and mix all this, whisk it to get whisk it together really good. Make sure there's no clumps. like so and then all sweet and sour sauce is red so we'll go ahead and add a couple drops of dye add a little more if we need it but we'll see let's go ahead and whisk it and right now it's a little pink but still needs to be broken up in there so and we'll add a little more red in there see how that goes it's getting there looking better just whisk it. Now we're just looking for it to boil because if you cook it too long, you'll burn it. You'll wreck it just like you would a gravy. And we don't want that, do we? I'm gonna add just a little bit more red. There we go, that'll do it. It's starting to boil. And thicken up and go ahead and take it off the heat. Oh, yeah, it's thickening it up nicely. Go ahead and take that off the heat. Look at that. Nice. It's perfect. While that duck's finishing up, let's go ahead and do this. And we'll do it long ways. Cut them down the middle. These are already cooked. Baked them in the oven for about an hour. Let's do this one this way. Because it's pretty thick. There we go. It's just like if you were going to do a, you know, potato skins or something, but that's not what we're doing. Take some of this black out of here. It's nasty. Nasty. All right. So uh, we'll let this hang out while we get that frying pan hot. And then as soon as these potatoes are done, we'll pull that duck out and uh, check it out. I'm excited about that duck. Okay, so we're basically just going to go ahead and take our potato skin, throw it on there, and smash it down. Okay, we got those other two off. I'm gonna add a little more oil to this. Let's 
Same thing, we're just gonna smash it down. Pour it down as you can. Then cook for a couple minutes on that side and then turn them. Not flip them, turn them. And get the other side. So we got those uh, on the stove over there. Go ahead and add some cheese to these. Bacon bits, right? Gotta have some bacon bits in there. There you have it, folks. Beer can duck. How epic is that? Let's see if I can do it now that I got a paper towel here. Front side, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's better. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Whoo! Here we go. And we got a mess. But we got a duck, too. Sharp knife works every time. Every time. Just cuts right through that bone, doesn't it? Now here's what I want to show y'all. Look. Look at this. Look at this. So potato gets some sour cream. And some parsley for color. All right, y'all, it's that time again. Do me a favor, hit like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it does me a world of good. And again, welcome to the new subscribers. Uh, welcome to the Burnbound family. And we always try to get this business over with real quick. Uh, so we can get to this taste test. I'm excited to try this beer can duck. Let's taste this. All right, this looks like a good piece, doesn't it? Let's animal style it, right? Cheers. Mmm. It is really soft and tender. It's the first time I've ever had duck. And I gotta tell you, it tastes like chicken. But it's really good. It is really good. We also got this uh, sweet and sour sauce we made. Let's get that in there. See what that's like. Mmm. Yeah, that was the first time I've ever made that too. Man, that's good. That was really good. Get a bite of this tater. This is a smashed fried tater. Mmm. Man. That was really good, y'all. Um got the duck at Kroger. Uh Everything else is homemade. Um, man, that was really good.
I can't wait to get after this. Of course, like always, this is my dinner. Um, and if it's good enough for me to eat, well, it may or may not be good enough for you to eat. I have no idea. <laughs> it's up for you to decide. But uh, that'll do it for us. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, it is Christmas Eve for us. When you all watch this, it'll be probably three weeks down the road. But nevertheless, I want to say Merry Christmas. And uh, you all have a good New Year as well. And uh, make something. Make anything. Cook a beer can duck. Why? Why not? It's good. It's so good. No, I can't wait to eat this. So I'm going to go. But, till next time.